Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been a little bit <laughs> MIA for the past couple weeks. Um, I know some people were saying, hey, where's your videos? You haven't really been posting on Instagram and stuff. Um, and that's mainly because, like I said, I have not really been ordering. Sorry, this is like, feels like it's a little bit crooked or something. Um, I really haven't been ordering. I have not ordered a thing since I think the beginning of October. Um, I checked my Instagram and like my last haul post I think was like in the middle of October but I didn't order it until like the beginning so it's been a while since I've ordered anything so that's why I'm really not posting pictures or obviously doing haul videos. Um, I do have a few reviews that I wanted to do and um, I also wanted to do another video pertaining to my like kind of ranty vendor type video that I did um, I think a month or so ago. I wanted to do another update on that one because there was a really lot of good questions and conversations going on and I actually did film kind of a response to that but I don't really like the way it came out so I'm going to redo it. Um, there's a lot of chit chat, there's a lot of things that I wanted to go over. And um, I know that I have like empties and stuff that I can do, so more videos will be coming. I know a lot of you are probably sick to death of, um, you know, just the data makes sense ones and, you know, stuff like that. But I promise you new videos will be coming. Um, I know a lot of you wanted to do an updated collection video. I can definitely do that. Loaf chopping I can do. So, um, but I will say after the holidays are over, I cannot guarantee that I won't be buying because I think I did really good. I sold so many things. Um, I have so much room now. It's insane the amount of empty drawers that I have. Um, I actually emptied out a whole container, like one of the under the bed containers, completely cleared that out. Um, so I have a lot of room now. And I know, like, I, I know this is an Anime Sense video, but I just wanted to put that out there really quick. Um, I know a lot of people when they kind of purge and do you know, like a lot of de-stashing, like, oh my god, I have so much room, it feels like such a weight has been lifted. I don't like it. I like my full drawers, and, you know, people can say whatever they want about that, but I don't like having empty drawers. I don't like having all this room. I liked it better when <laughs> all of my drawers were full. Um, however, though, I am glad that I ended up getting rid of stuff that I will not melt, and I'm glad that, you know, I don't have so much to worry about and I can definitely now fill up my drawers with things that I know I love, things I know I'm going to melt and things that I know I'm going to want to keep. Um, I'm also on the eye out for different things because another reason I stopped hauling was because it was kind of just the same things over and over and over again. You know, I can only buy bear claws, zucchini bread, coffee scents from so many vendors until it gets boring. Um, so I have been on the lookout for new and exciting things, things that I have not seen or hauled before. Uh, you know, like Brady's Making Sense is such a great vendor because there's always something new, there's always something fun to get. So she's definitely one that I'm 100,000% going to order from. Um, and I'm just on the lookout for new things. So if you guys know any vendors that have really cool different ideas and maybe um, collections or samplers going on that you have not seen me haul that you would like me to get, definitely let me know because I'm really, really on the lookout for those types of things. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So um, I wanted to show you the cookie sampler in full, and I am so late doing this video, guys. Let me tell you, I've been so late on doing everything. This video, holiday shopping, I have two swaps that I need to finish. It's been insane, um, but I really need to get on this. Also, by the way, since I haven't been hauling, the swaps have really been helping me get new products in, uh, so that's actually really fun. Anyways, so cookie sampler, there's two left on the website. And um, I think there's a few more holiday-ish type scents until, you know, we kind of get over that. And then there's, I think, maybe one or two customer creations and then some things that Luke and I came up with. All right. Um, I, I don't know, man. Let's just get into this. So this is the cookie sampler in full. Um, I went through some descriptions and stuff in my last video, so uh, we can kind of skip that part. So this is everything you'll get in the cookie sampler. There's 11 different scents. So this one is in coconut shortbread. I did say that I'd go over them a little bit in depth in this one since I wasn't really smelling them in the last one. This smells amazing. I love bakery coconut scents. I love any coconut actually. Beachy coconut, fresh coconut, bakery, love it. Uh, we have a sugar cookie brulee. Now this is actually news to me that this is not a coffee scent. I always thought a brulee was a coffee scent, but it's not. I do have the actual scent description and it reads, let's see here, vanilla, butterscotch, sugar cane, and sugar cookies. 
And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a super creamy, strong sugar cookie scent. I love that one. I don't think there's anything in here that I don't like actually. And then we have chocolate chip cookie. This is an insanely strong chocolate scent. If you are a chocolate lover, you will love that one. So amazing. And then we have blueberry cheesecake cookie. So this is blueberry cheesecake, regular blueberry, and then sugar cookies. I really like this one because it does smell a little bit more of like a fresh blueberry. It's like on the verge between like a fresh blueberry and then like a blueberry pie kind of. It's actually really nice. I have been really searching for a fresh blueberry scent, one that smells like Yankee, and that one's actually pretty close. Then we have Christmas cookie and gingerbread. I love this gingerbread scent. It smells really good. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of gingerbread, but this one's a little bit sweeter. It's not as, you know, spicy as most of them are. I'm more of like a Hansel and Gretel type fan. All right, then we have apple caramel cookie, and this guy is sugar cookie and cider lane. Oh, my goodness, this smells amazing. I don't know if you guys are over cider lane or not because we had so many fall scents that we did, but um, I'm still really liking it. All right, the next one here is strawberry fluff i love little santa um now i will say some of the shapes vary so some of you may get a santa some of you may get a christmas tree or something like that but they all weigh pretty much the same so this one is sugar cookie strawberry jam and fluffy marshmallow this is definitely one of my favorites i love strawberry and fluffy marshmallows together oh it's so good now i have to say when i say strawberry fluffy marshmallow it's the same thing as marshmallow fluff because I always get them confused but it's the same thing <laughs> just letting you guys know that all right then we have just regular sugar cookie this comes in a two pack and again the shapes will vary I love this one it's an awesome super strong sugar cookie scent so I'm really glad that we get two of them then we have iced cinnamon cookie which is iced cinnamon rolls and sugar cookies love this one as well you know me love my sweet cinnamon scents Ah, oh, so good. So good. I don't know which I like better, funnel cake or iced cinnamon rolls. I really like cinnamon rolls. Such a good one. All right, then we have iced lemon cookie. This one's okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the what's it called, like lemon icebox cake ones, or I'm more of like a lemon meringue, lemon curd type of fan, but this one's still okay. Okie dokie. Then the last one here is an ice cream cookie and, I, or I'm sorry, ice cream cookie, <laughs> cookie, Christmas cookie and ice cream scoop bread. Oh my God, my mind is everywhere. Really love this one too. Now, I know that ice cream scoop bread is definitely a lighter scent, um, but I've noticed that when you do it in like a really small room, it's fantastic. It's such a good like creamy, bready type of scent without like the yeast or anything crazy strong, but it is really, really good on its own and I really recommend you guys trying it. Okay, so let's move on to some of these other ones. So Luke had come up with some really cool blends that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. This is Luke Dickerson. He is another admin for Nana Makes Sense. I'm just trying to get all of them out here, making sure I'm not missing any, because I have them all in like this little box. Oh, here's one. Okie dokie, I think that's all of them. So here we go. Okay. The first one here is in Ian and Mickey, and this one is, oh my goodness, I'm covering it. <laughs> Uh, fresh picked strawberries, pumpkin pecan waffles, Mexican ice cream, and marshmallow fluff. Smells really good. I really like this one. I really love her fresh picked strawberry scent. The pumpkin pecan waffles comes out as well, but it's more of the strawberry, which I actually prefer because I'm so over pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I did a lot of strawberry pumpkin pecan waffle blends in the past, so I'm kind of just like, eh, okay. It smells really good though. I love the fresh picked strawberry. Um, the marshmallow fluff and the Mexican ice cream isn't very strong, but I think these were like literally just poured. Yeah, on the 13th, so they still have a little bit to go. All right. This next one is sugar plum, 
which is in pink sugar plum marshmallow and sugar cookie. This is actually really nice. I did not think I was going to like this one at all, but it's nice. It's definitely like a fruity bakery type of scent, more fruity than bakery. And I think this will be really good when I'm kind of like going nose blind a little bit with all my bakery. Cause um, I do tend to tend O M G. I do tend to lean more towards fruity scents when I'm going like nose blind. I don't really do fresh or clean or anything like that. So I think that'll be a good one. All right, next up is Revenge of the Red Queen, which I love this name. Um, now this guy is um, Rose Jam, Pie Crust, and Toasted Marshmallow. This is incredibly strong on the Rose Jam. I actually am a really big Rose Jam fan when it comes fan. Fan, oh my god, what is wrong with me? Fan for Lush and things in the bathroom. I do not like it in wax though. I don't know, I know it's kind of weird, but I'd rather have it for body care. Um, so incredibly strong on the Rose Jam, and then you do get a little bit of like the pie crust scent. Um, but again, these were just poured. All right, next we have Frosty, which is one of the holiday ones. And this guy is Jack Frost, Christmas Tree, and Aspen Winter. So this is definitely more of an outdoorsy Christmas scent. Oh my goodness. So it smells like straight spearmint. Seriously, it smells like spearmint. I don't smell anything else. I smell spearmint. I know a lot of people said that they got the Christmas tree, but I don't know, man. To me, it smells like spearmint. <laughs> okay. The last one here is Holiday Hearth, and this one is Pink Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cranberry. This one's all right. I can't do Cranberry, but you definitely get the Pink Sugar and the Marshmallow Fireside as well. So those are created by Luke. Thank you so much, Luke, for helping out. Those are super awesome. Okay. So let's just move on to these other ones. I guess I'll do um, my blends and then we'll just go on and do some others if that's okay with you guys. Let's see here. I believe all of, you know what, you, you know I'm bad when I don't even know the ones that I personally <laughs> came up with. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, I think this is all of them, I think. So the first one here is an apple Amish bread. And this one is in Mold Cider, Amish Friendship Bread, and Zucchini Bread. I really like this one. I think I should probably maybe should have gone with like a Mac Apple or a Cider Lane. Because that's just my personal preference. I don't know where I got Mold Cider from. Maybe it was an oil that we had to use up or something. Um, but it's still good. I do like Mold Cider. I used to actually be obsessed with the one from Walmart like years ago in like 2012, 2013. Um, loved that. And I would melt the candles all of the time. <laughs> we'll burn the candles. All right, next up is Strawberry Guava Cake. So did she spell that wrong? Oh my goodness. <gasps> It's spelled wrong. I didn't even notice that. Okay, we'll have to fix that. Um, so strawberry guava cake, apparently. So this is strawberry white cake and um, strawberry guava. Wow. We're all brain dead, apparently. This is really nice. So I really love the strawberry guava together with the strawberry white cake. So it's definitely one of my more favorite like fruity ones without being overly fruity. Just has a touch of bakery in it, which is what I personally love. All right, so then she ended up getting some cereal oils, which I was super excited about. So we have Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Frankenberry, Count Chocula, Captain Crunch Berries, and Rice Krispie Treats. So if you guys have any blends that you would like to see with those, definitely comment them down below because we're still working on them. All right, so we have Frankenberry Strawberry Cone, which is obviously Frankenberry Strawberry White Cake. Oh, wait, no, not Strawberry White Cake. <gasps> did I not get this one? I don't think I wrote it down. Oh, I did. Frankenberry, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and strawberry white cake. Oh, I was right. Okay. So, I did remember. I really like this one. Um, I can't wait for it to get a little bit stronger, though, because this was just poured on the 21st. It smells really good, though. I really like the frankenberry and the strawberry white cake together. I had a huge frankenberry strawberry obsession. Um, I think it was, like, the maybe the middle of last year is when I first found it, and I loved it. So, I'm super excited for that one. All right, next up is ice cream scoop bread and carrot cake. Just like a little random one, you know. 
I love it. So I really like her carrot cake because to me it smells like cream cheese frosting and like a birthday cake scent. Um, cause I know a lot of carrot cakes kind of come off as a little bit spicy. I particularly did not want a spicy one because I know it doesn't sell well. I know not a lot of people like it. I do like this one though. I think it's a good Easter scent. That's when we got it was around Easter time of 2019 or 2020. So, um, I really like this one a lot. So I knew that I wanted to use it with something. So I decided to do it with ice cream scoop bread because I knew that it would be a good blender because of like the cream cheese essence to it. All right, next up is a Caribbean Teakwood and Palo Santo. I have been dying for a super masculine scent and this is definitely one of them. I love this one. Oh my God, I love the Caribbean Teakwood because it gives off a little bit of like a woody note, not woodsy, but like woody, like actual like, um, like a smoky wood type scent. And then with the Palo Santo, of course, is just phenomenal. So I am going to use those in the bedroom because Ryan loves them. And I do also want to mix it with like a coffee bakery scent to see how that goes. All right, the last one here is in Palo Santo and Marshmallow Fireside. I love these two together. I really, really wanted it. I loved the way that she made this. It's a little bit more manly with the dark blue and the black. Um, love this one. So good together. And again, I think that'll be a really good one with like a coffee, something or other. All right, then we have another cereal one, which is in Toasted Crunch Berries. So this guy is in um, Captain Crunch Berries, Pie Crust, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Toasted Marshmallow. I do believe that this is a customer creation and it smells amazing. I am a little bit over the Captain Crunch Berries. I really outdid myself in 2019 when I first started buying again. Um, or no, I'm 2018. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 2018, I went overboard with it. But it's a really good scent. And I really love the way that she did this. Because it looks like the exact colors of Captain Crunch Berry. So I thought that was really, really sweet. Alright, another customer creation that we have is Paolo Express. I think that is such a funny and creative name. So funny. So this guy is in Paolo Santo Espresso Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh, it is so good, you guys. This is definitely one of my top three favorites in this whole um, haul here. I love it. The espresso comes out so well with the vanilla bean oil and the Palo Santo. I think it's fantastic. So that was such a good blend. And then the next one that we have is in Fruity Tea and Cakes. And this guy is in Fruit Loops, Strawberry Passion, and Tea and Cakes. So I love the Fruit Loops, love the Strawberry Passion, cannot do tea and cakes. It's just not a scent that I like, but I think it'd be really good without it. Um, however, if you like tea and cakes, obviously you will love this one. And that's like a really hefty, like those are heavy. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. Then the next one that we have here, a little bit of more of a random one, is in um, Chocolate Cream Cookies. I don't have the exact scent description for this one. I thought it was a little bit self-explanatory. It smells so good. I think, I think this is a Count Chocula blend. That's what it smells like to me anyway. It is so good. Count Chocula, best, 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 in my opinion, chocolate scent out there next to hot cocoa. I love it. I've been blending it like crazy lately. So good. All right, then the last thing that we have here, another little bit of a random one, is Crisp Air and Winterberry. Um, don't have the exact scent description for this one either, but I know that we're kind of over the holiday scents anyway, so I didn't think it was that huge of a deal. It's definitely more of like a, sorry, I got to change my position. Um, it's definitely more of a feminine, perfumey, outdoorsy, um, clean holiday scent, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it's more of like a fruity, perfumey, outdoorsy type of scent. So if you like scents like that, um, you should definitely try picking this one up. I know the snowflakes go like crazy. Everybody loves these snowflakes. So um, here's another one for you. All right, so that is everything. Sorry, I kind of whizzed by this really fast, but um, I'm super late on it and I wanted to get it up as soon as possible. I do not know when her next restock is going to be. It's still, you know, to be announced. Um with the holidays and everything going on, I think it needed to be pushed back a little bit. And then we had a huge snowstorm here in the East Coast. 
and uh, we got I think 12 to 18 inches I believe in Connecticut we got more like 17 or 18 it was insane um, and then after we shoveled and everything was good we got hit again so um, it's been a little bit cray cray over here and then me doing everything super last minute you know holiday shopping last minute swaps doing last minute everything is super last minute with me um, just because it has been so insane so I'm trying to do everything now and get it over with so thank you guys so so much for watching I really appreciate you all I hope you guys are all doing super super well um, and I wanted to wish you guys all a happy holiday and a happy new year in case I don't get to you by then so Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, and I will catch you in my next one. Also, I wanted to do, like I said, an updated video um, for that vendor one. So if you have any more comments, you can leave it on that video or you can go ahead and leave it on this video. If you haven't watched the video, I'll link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.